Hello everyone and welcome to this video dedicated to English speakers. It is as a request of several acquaintances that I resolved to make a short version and as clear as possible for practitioners of Savat and French boxing. Let's be honest, my English accent is horrible, but I hope the videos you will see will help you improve your technical level. For this first episode in English, expert advice from Captain France, I suggest that you deepen your knowledge of the coup de pied bas. First of all, to make a good coup de pied bas, you must morally be certain of the utility of your strike, and not to stupidly throw the leg soft and without real force. The coup de pied bas is a very painful strike, but for that you must first be convinced the leg must therefore be chased its the foot extending to strike with the angle of the inner shoe where there is a big toe to schematize. Take the time to look carefully on your left, the error of placement of the foot. Then in the center and on the right, the méthode Charlemont and Lecourt, which are them models to follow. The second error is due to a poor custody. If your ears are aligned in the combat axis, your rear leg should make curved pass instead of going straight toward the target. So, it is imperative to have a good guard. That is to say, the, e the ears are not aligned, but each on their own line of movement. You can see that the hips are not quite facing at the time of the strike, and it is also a negative result of poorly ordered guard. The third way to do a bad coup de pied bas is to do it like a low kick. We cannot make an analogy between the low kick of kickboxing and the coup de pied bas of the French boxing, because one is practiced barefoot and the other foot short, that is to say armed foot. So if the foot is armed, well we strike with the weapon, not with the top of the foot, the joint. It is nonsense from the point of view of French boxing. Then, as you can see in the examples in the center and on the right, there is no pivot or circular movement of the hip. It remains facing during the strike. The strike is in the axis and does not come on the side. The fundamental difference is that the coup de pied bas seeks to break the tibia bone, the low kick its muscles, or the knee if you aim well and the opponent does not move. Here, I hope that these three tips will help you to make pretty and painful coup de pied bas to your partners. If you really want to understand why it is better to avoid it than to cash it, do not put on a shin protection and wear city shoes and not the usual slippers for sports. Thank you for supporting my froggy's accent. Train well, have fun and see you next time.